In 1989, I remember the people of Jamaica coming together to fight against the government's decision to increase the tax on gasoline. My home country is a place shaped by the Spanish, then British Empire and coloniality. Here I saw middle class and working class people join forces to create Jamaicans for justice, to address legal, social and political injustices. And people began to receive legal redress. It was here that I started to listen to people's stories and begin to understand what it's like to be poor and black. It really opened my eyes to how racism and classism determine people's lives and how privileged classes often know social injustice is occurring but fail to act if it doesn't affect them directly. At the time, I was an entrepreneur. Before that, I had been an investment banker and stockbroker. I want to live in a world in which all human beings experience themselves as equal. So I started researching the systemic issues affecting disadvantaged communities. And that's when I discovered critical community and liberation psychology. I began to research how colonial racism and classism damages people, both psychologically and socially. I want to contribute to decolonizing our educational system and other social structures through my research into coloniality and by introducing students to global South theories, methodologies and practices. For us to begin to change coloniality and transform societies, we need to acknowledge that coloniality is our current social reality and it's getting in the way of equality, equity and justice. All of us have the ability to recognize and the power to address social inequality and injustice in our communities. My name is Deanne Bell and this is my research revealed. <laughs>